Welcome back to Wildcat Chat. Next up, we'll have Latasha Roberts with Michael Cation. Thanks, Alex. Well, I'm sitting here now with Latasha Roberts, senior on the track and field team. Latasha, thanks a lot for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, we always appreciate it. Latasha, talk to me a little bit about this season. You've been injured a little bit, but you're getting back and, and uh, competing, and, and you competed in the last couple of meets, and uh, I think it's, everything's starting to look a little bit better. How do you feel about it? Oh, definitely. Um, this, se this season has been, it has, ha it's had great ups and downs. Um, you just don't ever think that you're going to get hurt. Um, I never got hurt in high school. I never got hurt before, and all of a sudden you're injured, and everyone's running, and everyone's getting in shape, and you're having to sit on the sidelines. But um, I've been clear to start running and start practicing again, and um, probably against my doctor's advisory, I've competed in a couple of meets and just slowly getting back into it and hope to finish up strong this weekend. Yeah, how did you do in those two meets, and when was that? Um, the weekend before last, I competed at um, Missouri at CMSU, and um, I ran just the 55 because it's the one of the more um, races that are just short, quick, and not as strenuous on my legs. And decently enough, um, it was actually I ran faster than I had towards the beginning of my freshman year. But you know, once you've made those improvements and you've lowered those times, running an 8.41 just still seems disappointing. But not being in shape. I was I was happy with it. Uh -huh. What about the second meet? You ran in a couple of events in that. One. Tell me about that. Yes, um, this past meet when we were at Iowa State. Oh, sorry, not Iowa State. We were at Nebraska for the Nebraska Westland meet, and we ran at the University of Nebraska on the bank track, which is a marvelous track. And again, I ran the 55, dropping my time down to 8.30. So that is really exciting, seeing the improvement, um, feeling a lot more confident. And our 4x4 relay was able to run for the first time since Haskell. And that was really exciting because we've got three great girls who have so much talent. And to be able to run with them was a real treat since I've been hurt and for them to put their confidence in me to be able to try to break the school record. Yeah, and what do you expect from that 4x4 four four team and, and who else is on that for one and then what do you expect to kind of get out of not just the winter season but the spring season as well? Oh, well when, when everyone is healthy and everyone is strong, we'll definitely be going to nationals. It, no doubt in my mind. We have three strong girls, two freshmen, one of them being Kelsey Hagathorn and the other one being Ashley Miller and then a sophomore, Katie Wigamer, who are amazing athletes, who Baker's very, very lucky to be able to have them on our team. And um, once I get strong and healthy, which is going to happen because I've decided, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll be on the track to nationals and you'll be hearing about us. All right, well, I hope so. I hope so. Um, talk to me about the team as a whole. How do you think they look this year? I heard, we heard Dan Harris, he talked earlier mm -hmm. about, you know, the team as a whole is looking pretty good and one of mm -hmm. the strongest teams. Do you think that too? Oh, d definitely. It, we've got some great new recruits, and we have returners who are stronger and faster and bigger than ever. We've got a really good coaching staff that has prescribed workouts that takes the extra time and goes the extra mile to really make sure that we're following the, the great course to just make us the best athletes that we can be. And I think you'll be really surprised of what you'll see and you'll get that opportunity especially during the outdoor season with our new facilities because we have two home meets which we haven't had in years. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're pretty excited. How, I'm how really excited. How much does that mean to you that you can compete at home and have some of your friends and maybe family come and watch you at home? I, during the indoor season because we have to travel so far away I'm I know that I've personally never been able to have family you know driving to Nebraska or driving to Iowa or driving to Wisconsin to be able to see us run and so being able to have close home outdoor meets where we really thrive it especially for my senior year to be able to have my family and friends and people right here on Baker's campus be able to see you know how good we are because Track a lot of times get over we get overlooked because we're never here. <laughs> yeah. um, talk to me about kind of your goals. You're going into your senior season, and talk to me about your goals individually, and then also as a team, what do you guys want to accomplish? Uh, well, for my individual goals, I really hope that I I just I keep on the fast pace of recovery. 
um, that I don't do anything stupid like try to run the 200 this weekend and injure myself any further or set myself back and just not be so pig-headed and, and know that I don't have to run everything so that I can be healed and can be ready for outdoor season. And at the end of last year, I picked up the 400 meter hurdles. And so I'm really excited to see what I can do with that. Um, only after running it once, I have the second fastest time for Baker history for the 400 meter hurdles. So I'm really excited to see with a little more training what I can do with it. Yeah, hopefully that'll work out in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about uh, some of the newcomers on the team. You mentioned you have a couple on your team, your 4 by 4 mm -hmm. What about as a team as a whole? Talk to me about some of those uh, athletes that are going to make a, a huge impact right away. Um, right away, people who are making huge impacts is a freshman from Osborne, Missouri. Her name is Ashley Miller, and she is she's just an all-around one, I mean, just an amazing athlete who has a lot of talent that wants fine-tuned and when Coach Mackey gets his hands on her and to really pinpoint and hone in those skills, she'll be one of the best athletes Baker's ever seen. Um, now she's not a freshman, but um, Chelsea Osborne, who is a pole vaulter, is making fast strides, getting higher and higher heights, and she's a pole vaulter, and she's really, we're really going to see a lot out of her. And our distance runners are just continuously improving. And I think as we, they get older, we're going to really see a lot out of them. We're going to see a lot of, out of Amber Keith and a lot of our, our distance runners. So just overall, we have a really strong team that I think with the right coaching and hopefully we'll get a new coach in that understands our athletes and can really work with them, and we'll be, on, we'll be doing really well. Yeah, you mentioned the new coach, Rob Malander, is going to this is his final year. He's got to go back to New Zealand. What are your thoughts about that? I feel really bad for for the teammates that won't get to have their four years with Coach Malander because he's an amazing coach, and there's no comparison. You can you can be competing at any meet, and you don't see your coach. You know you don't see other teams' coaches. You can go anywhere and. I don't think you could ever find a guy who cares so much about his athletes as Rob Malander. I wouldn't be at Baker if it wasn't for Rob Malander. So they're they're really at a misfortune. Yeah, you are wrapping up your career. What is what is the four years that you've been here at Baker kind of meant to you? Oh, Baker's been a great experience. I've had an opportunity to be a part of a great sorority. I'm a FIMU, and I've had great opportunities to be and organizations all throughout campus where I've really got to thrive and really got to make a difference and really got to be a part of a family, uh, you know, a lot of the Mangano members and being a part of SAC and, and working in admissions, it's just, it's made me a, a whole person. And the people that you meet on Baker's campus, we're just a big family. And if you don't get that out of Baker, then you weren't spending your time right. Well, I'm glad that you did spend your time right. And good luck this season. Thank um, you. I hope I wish you all the best. I'm sure it's going to be a great season. Hopefully we'll see you in national. Definitely. Natasha Roberts, everybody, thanks a lot for joining us today. Well, we're going to take another break, and uh, we'll be back right after this.